Hey class, uh, no I'm not dead, no this isn't a farewell video, probably in the same seat that I'm always in, just go ahead and check right now. Um, I kind of want to just give a rundown of what I wanted to do in this video. In 2016 I believe that people would bring up issues on social media, but they wouldn't actually go out and try to make change. So this interview I've got a few people lined up where I ask them a few questions about what they believe in, what they did to help. And from there, it's just supposed to be a lighthearted video. It's supposed to be funny. It's not supposed to offend anybody. So I'm just kind of giving you a disclaimer now of what it's supposed to be like. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you laugh. And let's get it rolling. You're early. <laughs> You're late. Um... It's just a little bit of CBT, Andrew. What? CBT? Come again. You know what CBT is? Next question. Okay, so before we start this interview, I just wanted to ask you, how are you doing? I'm stressed. Mm -hmm. Items are coming. Just My edges are thinning. Okay, shh. You gotta do the interview. <laughs> okay. Alright, so the meaning of this interview um, was in 2016, I felt that there were a lot of social issues that people would talk about but wouldn't try to make change. So with that being said, I was wondering what do you believe in or what do you stand for? Well, when we um, talk about change, we have to be remindful of change is not a destination but a journey. So change doesn't happen overnight. So this is like a continuation of how we've been brought to this country in 1619. We're still fighting for equal rights, we're still fighting for justice, equality, all of that. So with um, Black Lives Matter, as my shirt says, <laughs> that's what we're still fighting for. Okay. Is that kind of like when you go out drinking, it's not a marathon, <laughs> or it's not a race, but a marathon? <laughs> what? Um, so this has to deal with mainly uh, social media. So I was going to ask you, what were some, what were your most recent social media posts about? So I have a lot of recent social media mm -hmm. posts, but my popular post, um, one, it says, if we want a world that all lives matter, we have to acknowledge that we don't live in a world that all lives matter. And this was um, from Alicia Garza. She's the co-founder of Black Lives Matter. And I met her in approximately three weeks ago in Philadelphia. And um, another prominent quote that she said is, voting, pulling up your pants, having a degree, doesn't protect you from racism. So. It kind of reminds me of when like teachers like complain about grades, but then aren't they the ones giving tests? Right. So what exactly have you done to advocate for Black Lives Matter? Really? Are you really asking me that? I mean, you are wearing a shirt. Yeah, Eric, I'm not new to this. Like, I'm true to this. Like, this is... How long has this been going on? It's been going on since 2012. But it's been going on since... Historically, this has been going on since 1619. Oh my goodness. <laughs> But the movement before came social about, media. So the movement came about in 2012 at the death of Trayvon Martin. Mm -hmm. Sorry, 2013. 2013. Yeah. Okay, so three years. Three yeah, years. Approximately. Uh, what do you think? What do you think the next steps are for BLM in the year 2017? It's a good question. Um, I think the next steps for BLM is how. A lot of people are aware. So there's different um, spectrums of Black Lives Matter. You can get involved in Black Lives Matter in education, in the legal field, medical field. Anywhere where black people are marginalized and oppressed, that's where you can step up and participate. And, and we also have a um, shout out to the Black Lives Matter Memphis chapter. I'm a part of that. And are you looking forward to the 400 year uh, anniversary? Two hours later. On a more serious note, I firmly believe that discussing topics or talking about social issues on social media doesn't advocate for change. So I met up with Angie again after the interview and I asked her some questions on what someone like me or someone else could do to advocate for social issues. In this case, that being BLM. So enjoy. The organization Black Lives Matter, we do not allow white people or people of other ethnicities to join our organization because black people, black men, and women, black children, we all need a space where we can speak out on issues that affect us without the voices of opinions of other um, races attacking, attacking us, so to speak. So um, a suggestion for 
our counterparts to become involved with the movement is simply to educate themselves on why does this issue why does why does this issue still matter in 2016? What ways can I research or in my career, what ways can I advocate for Black Lives Matter? When I see someone's being marginalized or oppressed, what ways can I speak up and stand up for them without them um, experiencing that, you know, trauma of being oppressed. And I think if we can just, um, you know, educate each other because this is just not a black issue. This is a black and white issue as well. Because if we say all lives matter, we need to include black lives in the rhetoric that all lives matter. So it's just a form of um, education to help us all understand. Mm. Because that's bridging a gap of understanding when we, you know, inform and make our counterparts knowledgeable about why um, this is happening. Although we, although it's not our responsibility to do that, to educate our oppressors, but just kind of to, you know, change, shift the lens and make them aware. Is there a way to advocate for BLM through social media if someone that wasn't a part of it? That's enough. Of, there's enough of that going on right now. Yes, you can advocate for BLM through social media, but like I said, social media is not the um, basis for sh social change. So it takes policy making to advocate for social change, not just social media. And I'm really big on that as well. Like people would kill the keyboards, but when things, you know, when issues come about, there's nothing to be said. So make sure your actions online reflect your actions offline.